Hey everyone, what do we got here? Well, yep, it's our it's our air nozzle, it's our Rex Blaster, the latest version, by the way, the Mark II. In addition to safety cap and top cover, this is to accommodate those straws. High flow, big inner diameter. When you want to blast, when you want to blast. Oh no, oh no, our canister is empty. What are we gonna do? We we can't get through the doors. Oh shoot. Well, I guess it's time for our latest creation. Yes, yeah, so what is this? Um, I've been teasing it a little bit on Instagram, but this is a little valve head. What is this for? It's for refilling. You can, in the field, refill your canisters now, whether they are little CO2 canisters, if you wanna refill them with something much better than that, or if you have canisters that you're perhaps getting from us in the pre-sale when they eventually come out, you don't have to use them once and throw them away. This valve assembly allows you to go ahead and swap these out without blowing gas all over the place, right? So if I go ahead and screw this on here, turn it on, no leaks until it's time to go ahead through some doors. And then let's turn that off again. And if I wanna put this away in my bag, I can do that. So how does this work? What's it for? Well, it's because R134A, tetrafluoroethane, difluoroethane, it is available in a variety of products, over-the-counter products. This, I noticed there were a lot of comments. People's minds were blown that you can just have refrigerant and people say, oh, it's against the law to spray that in the atmosphere. I am a certified uh, HVAC systems uh, super mucky muck. Well, these products, like this is medical spray. This is... I mean, this exists. You can, you can buy these on Amazon. These products are, yes, they're not ideal. We, we wouldn't want companies who manufacture propellant and coolant to just vent it off en masse. But one or two little toots once in a while, the way these are meant to be used, little spot hit here, spot hit there, it's, it's not the environmental disaster people think it is. But let's talk about using this little valve assembly for the least wasteful way, if you're going to try to refill these, how that works. So let's say you have one of our canisters, you've used it up and it's completely empty. Do you just throw it away? No, you can refill these. And this is a quick overview of that process. It's actually very simple. So first things first, the little nozzle on the top when you initially buy them and you know you punch through with a little bayonet, that hole is very small. We wanna widen that hole. So as you can see here, get an eighth inch drill bit. Uh, this is not included, of course. I mean, you all have tools and hand stuff. You don't need to do this, it's just way better in my opinion. So I recommend you go ahead and widen that hole. And in the process, notice I'm holding this canister upside down. I don't want any shavings. Uh, to wind up in here. I want, I want this nice and pure and easy going, and now we have a much wider hole. Why is that useful? Well, almost all the cans of free spray you can use will have a straw, and you want that straw to be able to fit in that hole. Now, I could just go ahead and blast some free spray in here. It won't immediately boil off. In fact, if I just kind of go slowly, you can almost see on the bottom of this canister, it's getting cold. There's a, almost a line rising up. But if I pull this out of here, this can start leaking out. In fact, the coolant, you can actually see that coming out there. It started to boil off in the can, and then what was remaining, I was able to pour out. So we need a way to fill this with coolant, with refrigerant, and immediately chock it shut. Enter our refill kit. It's really just a ball valve. This is a valve that allows you to very quickly control whether or not that top is open or closed. We want to install the ball valve on here. We have matching threads. This is the same thread as this. This is the same thread in reverse, but metal on metal, not gonna hold gas very well. That's why our refill kits do come with little PTFE yellow tape, yellow for gas uh, fittings. Now, when you're thinking about this, if I'm gonna put this tape on, I don't wanna rip the tape up when I start cranking something on here. I want the tape winding around this direction. So come around to this side, and about three passes should do it. So we've got one, there's two, keeping it a little tight, and we'll call that three. Okay, so now this is looking pretty good. We can put 
our ball valve on the top of this. Now, when you crank this down, you will chew up and crush some of these, some of the, you see this, it starts eating up the PTFE. That's normal. So this is not put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off repeatedly. That's, that's why you get a roll of this stuff. If you're going to be putting this on and off, which you, you shouldn't have to do most of the time, but if you're going to repeatedly put it on and off, you want to replace that tape. So we've got our tape on here and there we go. We're going to crank this down. Good. Till it stops. Okay, so we've got a straight shot right down there through here into the canister. And that's actually how we're going to insert our straw and very slowly fill this canister up. It does help if you have some kind of base or something you can use to kind of stabilize this in place. So it's not, you know, you're not holding it with one hand because you really want one hand up here ready to cinch it off and close it pretty quickly. And if I change my angle a little bit, you might even get to see condensate working its way up as the refrigerant fills this canister. So we want to get our straw all the way through, not just into the top of the valve. We want to actually find that hole. You see how far down that straw is going? We want the straw all the way down in here and then try to watch and see how that's going. Now, when I get it pretty full, I can't just cinch the valve. Why? Well, the straw is running through. I've got to whip the straw out of there and cinch the valve down. It's not going to blow all over you in an instant. You'll have a second or two, but you don't want to dawdle. Nice and slow, nice and slow and gentle. You want to let liquid fill up. I, can, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but this is definitely icing up. Now, you can see we're actually getting puffs out the top now. That's good. There we go. I got a little bit splashed on my fingers, but we got most... I could have probably filled it just a hair more. You can actually see. You can see the level of where that coolant is because it's already trying to boil off a little bit and cooling, it, you know, cooling itself down in the process. But that's a pretty good fill. Okay, this is ready to go. This is fine. This ball valve will hold that pretty tight. If you want, we do have little acorn nuts with gaskets inside. You can kind of cinch that down. This is honestly, more than anything, it's just to allow this to lie flat in your bag. This is kind of a jerk form factor right now. But if we go ahead and cinch that down there, this will lay much more nice and even. You can have this in a gear bag ready to go on a job. Now, speaking of on the job, let's close that before I remove this acorn nut. We're on a job, we want to get through a door or two. Go ahead and put this on our head and ready to go. Now, this nozzle is ready to blast. You can pull off a dead canister in the field. You pull a fresh one out of your bag if you have more doors to attack. Go ahead and put that on and you can see it's not required, but I also put a little bit of that yellow tape on the top of that valve stem, just so, you know, we're not getting any, any leaks here. Turn this on. Now this head is live. This head is ready to go. Bam, bam, bam. So that is how this would work. Let me turn that back off too. There's a little bit, I don't know if you could hear that. There's a little bit of pressure that's always built up inside the top here, but these can be kept. They can be kept in storage, especially if you go ahead with one of those acorn nuts. These are ready to go. You can reuse them. You can refill them. I do recommend, this will sound silly, but remember we watched this boiling off as it was filling. If you really want to pack that as full as you can with refrigerant, go ahead and freeze these. The empty canisters, freeze them first before you start filling with refrigerant. It'll actually keep that refrigerant from boiling off. It'll keep it liquid as you fill it all the way up, cinch it down, and you can reuse and reuse as many times as you need in the field. What kind of supplies do you use to reload these? Well, you can do it with conventional difluoroethane air duster. We've seen that on every store shelf. But if you want R134A, it is available in a lot of freeze spray or tech spray type products. It was funny. This is great. So I, I asked questions on Amazon because you, you know, they're all just, you know, they're all propellants. They're all just refrigerants. And I was writing, I said, does this contain difluoroethane or tetrafluoroethane? Which, which is it? And, and people were answering in sometimes the same listing saying, this is definitely R134A. No, it's definitely difluoroethane. 
Uh, and people were vehemently kind of arguing in the comments and, you know, the question and answer saying, no, this is, it says the data sheet, this is difluoroethane. And someone else said it is definitely tetrafluoroethane. I use it all the time. Uh, tech spray actually happens to be both. So any of these will do. And again, you can, you can buy fresh from, from us that we still have that pre-sale going on, but, uh, the ability to recharge with one of these little recharge kits, which since these, these canisters come from us in sets of five, the recharge kits are sets of five. Each one of our refill kits contains five of those ball valves with the little 3 8 by 24, you know, UNF fittings. Uh, it contains five of those acorn nuts. It has the PTFE gas tape, of course, and six why six of the O-rings? Well, call this the Ikea approach. Uh, maybe I mispack the bag. Maybe you break one. Maybe you lose one. Why, why include these at all? Why, you know, isn't the valve... The valve is good enough, but you know what the valve can't do? Is lay flat like this in your bag, because now the valve is open. The acorn nut allows for much easier storage. And remember, don't fly with these filled. Uh, you can fly with them open. If, if the valve is clearly open, uh, there's nothing in there, this is not illegal to have in checked bag, you can buy any kind of canned air product on your destination job site, fill it up in your Airbnb or in your hotel room, and then you have a much smaller package in your pocket if you want to get through some doors. So these canisters are refillable, they are hot swappable, from one to the next to the next on the job as you go. Uh, I'm really thrilled with already, we've got the Mark II version of our air nozzle that'll start showing up. Uh, the, I will, I don't like mention a site, you know, I don't like mentioning Red Team Tools, but I will say the pre-sale is still running on these canisters. And now that you know, they're not a use them once, blow them away, throw them away. Now you know you can grab a can of tech spray or freeze spray or, or even medical spray or something refill them yourself in the field, uh, I think you'll see the value is there. Again, I'm not a salesman. I, I promise I got all kind of lock, I got all these tubular lock content and everything coming at you soon, but uh, the pre-sale, we're about halfway there on the pre-sale. So if you're thinking about getting these canisters, remember, you don't have to get the 10 pack, you can get the five pack. And with the refill valve sets, if that's your thing, if that's what you want, which also, again, they come in sets of five because the canister is in sets of five, I think it's a pretty smoking idea. Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you think this is all stupid. Maybe you think it's horribly environmentally terrible, even though I tried to uh, allay those fears. Let me know down below. Um, I'm gonna keep using these. I'm gonna keep using these on jobs. I'm gonna keep you know, trying to refine the little nozzle head with our guy, Mike. I, I'm really happy with, with how this, the gas flows out of these now. I'm put the little safety cover on there so I don't accidentally shoot anything in my bag. But yeah, uh, I love this stuff. I'm really excited about it. I hope you're excited about it too. If you want the pre-sale, the link is down there. I don't like mentioning shit. And I will talk to you soon. I'm about to embark on tons of heavy travel. I'm going to go speak at Dakota Con. I'm going to be, you're probably seeing this right after I spoke at Dakota Con, but I will then be in Vegas for ISC and I'm going to be down in Austin hanging out with Brian for a minute. Uh, yeah, big times for me all over the map. I'm going to keep trying to push content out to you. In the meantime, keep enjoying this and, uh, you know, stay safe out there.